this is bottom frag here with x trades this is our day trading guide part one beginning to trade let's hop right into it in this tutorial you'll find key components and tools that you need to be a successful trader and start your day trading career this course will be broken into parts that lay out the foundations of day trading as well as its core principles and how you can utilize them to find an edge in the market to begin with the very first thing that we need to consider as day traders is the best broker that fits your needs. There's a number of them to choose from, both paid and free, that come with unique benefits as well as their own drawbacks. In this guide, we're going to focus on day trading. As a day trader, it's in our best interest to maximize the edge that we find in the market and adapt to all conditions that the market gives us. And for this reason, I will recommend a few great brokerages that are both popular with the community and can help you realize this edge. For simplicity and intuitiveness, I recommend Weeble. Weeble as a brokerage gives day traders a well-rounded feel for the market. It offers shorting and has no fees. The drawbacks with Weeble are its less than stellar approach to options trading and a lack of range on what stocks you can short. However, for beginner day traders, it's an ideal solution to start off with. Next, I'd like to mention uh, TD Ameritrade using their Thinkorswim brokerage platform. Uh, many professional traders that I know use TOS and many find success with its range of customizable features and charting capabilities. It has superior share executes compared to other platforms and it's a solid choice for an advanced trader. As you may have noticed or um, found out, a lot of professional day traders use multiple brokerages at once and they have separated accounts to perform certain activities. Um, one of these activities is shorting. Uh, with the state of the market right now, I find it imperative as a day trader that you should be well versed in both the long side as well as the short side. And if I had to recommend a brokerage to do it with, I would recommend Cobra. Cobra has fees for its shorts, but has one of the widest range of companies available to short. Um, it's worth checking them out um, when you're unable to short with other brokerages. So those are the tools that you need to get it done. Um, and moving forward, uh, what do you also need is a, a solid computer setup. Um, I recommend, uh, as a career day trader myself, I recommend a desktop computer, um, not trading off a phone or a laptop. And the reason being is information, visuals, and processing power. Um, something that a phone or a laptop will not give you as clear or as effectively as it should. I'd like to talk about the monitors. Um, I'd recommend no less than three and no more than four. Uh, you want to have the information you need on your screen, financial Twitter, chat rooms, watch lists, live streams, and scanners. But you also don't want information overload. Uh, my favorite setup is two widescreen monitors stacked together with two vertical monitors on either side. Um, and I'd also recommend finding a good stock market scanner. Uh, most of them are paid for, uh, but some are free, like Finviz. But it's worth paying for real-time scans with a dedicated scanner to get news and movements immediately. Um, plays in the market happen fast, and sometimes all you need to do is show up. Uh, my recommendations for scanners are Benzinga, Finviz, Scans, Trade Ideas, as well as Unusual Whales for Options Trading. They offer a comprehensive lift to the real-time contract trading flow, and it can be really useful when you're trading options and you need to see what the whales are doing and what they're moving because as you know whales make a splash in the market and a lot of the time you're just riding on the wave that they create uh moving on uh starting the day uh did you know trading doesn't start when you sit at your, down at your desk log onto your broker and slam the buy button it starts way before that it starts when you go to bed have a proper night of sleep, and eat a nutritious meal to start the day. When trading, you need to be relaxed and focused, and most importantly, free of distractions. Trading cannot and should not be half-assed, or you will fail almost every time. 90% of day traders fail simply because they don't have the time, they don't put in the effort, or they don't have the energy to stay awake in front of the screen for four, five, six hours at a time. Um, and that's why it's imperative as a day trader to be free of the distractions and realize trading is a full-time commitment. You have to treat this as if you were to have a business. And the general rule of thumb is if you have something else to do during the day, 
an appointment, a meeting, if you're fighting with your girlfriend or fighting with your boyfriend, you shouldn't trade at all. It's better to make nothing than be red, period. So set aside the time, sleep your eight hours, make your breakfast, and make it a habit to set your alarm. Uh, for pre-market, be up by 7 a.m. For day trading, be up by 8.30 a.m. Uh, these are good times to be awake and alert um, to trade pre-market or open market because you need to get into the habit of making a setup and drawing your levels and understanding your supply and demands and virtually having a plan. You can't trade without having a plan as well as building good habits. That's another thing. With day trading, it's all about building good habits. When you see your profit target and you hit your profit target, that means you have to sell. You have to become a computer. Um, you have to ritualize this into your morning routine. Um, waiting for setups to occur, following your rules. And rules are everything in day trading. Anytime that you feel greed when you trade, Anytime that you feel elation when you trade, it's probably time to get rid of the position that you have. Um, in the next part of this guide, I will go over critical rules every trader should take to heart. Um, but for now, we're going to focus on building good habits. Um, you have to be aware of the open market conditions as well as any financial events occurring today. Awareness is key and without it, traders will fail and they will not last long as a day trader. Um, and that is it for this uh, slide. I hope you guys took something away from this. Um, and until next time, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.